So hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to share you how to become a Azure Data Engineer and uh, what are the topics or skills uh, you have to focus to crack the Azure Data Engineer. So the first one you have to focus on SQL or SQL. Then what are the main skills or topics I have to focus on in SQL concept? So you have to focus mainly on joins concept. You have to learn theoretical as well as practical, more and more practice you have to do uh, to crack the complex SQL queries in uh, data engineer job role. Okay, so joints concept, uh, CT concepts and uh, Windows functions and next skills are like optimization like uh, indexes and uh, partitions. So then, and next one you have to do some practice like uh, Azure SQL database and Azure Synance Analytics as well okay so once you completed these sql concepts okay then you have to focus to learn python so why why python is required for data engineer job role you know so python skills are used to automate and data processing and uh, to create etl pipelines as well okay then what are the main skills i have to focus in python skills you know uh, numpy and pandas for data manipulation you have to know to write scripts for azure functions as well as uh, azure data factory as well and uh, along with this you should have sound knowledge or hands-on experience on pyspark as well why is pyspark is required pyspark is used for uh, for processing the big data processing purpose okay in data azure databricks okay next you have to focus or concentrate on the skills main skills like uh, azure data services in the Azure Data Services, you have to mainly focus on Azure Data Factory for creating ETL pipeline, maintaining ETL pipelines and for data movement purpose. And next one is Azure Data Lake to store and manage the big data processing purpose. And the next service is Azure Databricks for machine learning, uh, for machine learning data processing purpose. And next service is Azure Synance Analytics. So this is mainly for data warehousing purpose and SQL queries purpose. So these are the main skills you have to focus uh, to crack the interviews as well as to learn or to become a Azure Data Engineer. Okay, so if we are so if we are strong in these Azure Data Services like Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, Azure uh, Data Lake and Azure Synance Analytics and along with SQL and Python and PySpark. First to top three skills uh, to crack the Azure Data Engineer, SQL, Python, PySpark. Next Azure Data Services, ADO, Databricks and Azure Synance Analytics and a Data Lake. So if you are good at on these skills, almost you can crack any interview Azure Data Engineer guys. But you should have hands on experience also, you have to take some example, you have to take one or two tables and you have to do uh, practice then only it will going to work out you can crack the interview because nowadays you know very well how uh, there is a huge competition is there in software industry and many candidates are already trained and many candidates already have been working in the same azure data in the job roles and that's why uh, the companies also they are uh, filtering the candidates the reason is any uh, professionals are they are very well in theoretically okay they are giving response theoretically very well but uh, Whenever it comes, to, whenever uh, they are asking scenario based questions like uh, SQL and Python related queries, Python related coding questions, uh, there some people are there uh, not having that much knowledge uh, to solve those uh, complex SQL queries and uh, uh, Python related coding questions as well. So there the companies are filtering the many Azure data engineering job profiles. That's why I highly recommend to all the Azure data engineering professionals keep practice uh, SQL, Python, PySpark and uh, Azure data services. Then 80% you can easily crack the interview guys. So if anyone looking for this kind of service, uh, interview preparation and mock interviews, yes, I am providing the uh, 40 days interview preparation and every day I will give uh, 10 tasks to you just like internship job role. Okay, so first you have to try yourself whatever I submit to the document. Okay. Once you tried a lot uh, for this entire day and the next day I will provide the solutions for all the tasks to you and, and every weekend we will conduct the mock entries as well whatever you prepared uh, from Monday to Friday every weekend we will conduct the mock entries for 40 days okay so it is it is a really very awful price every candidate can join this uh, enroll this program anyone interested you can share your details to this mail ID I will reach out to you and I will explain the further process uh, like uh, what is exactly the interview preparation program, how you covered all the topics, 
okay and what type of uh, skills and topics we will cover not only uh, azure data engineer you can be any technology you just reach out to me i will give uh, interview preparation and mock interviews program for 40 days now let's talk about some secondary skills you have to focus to crack the azure data engineer that is nothing but security related topic as well like uh, role based access control data masking and data encryption so if you uh, focus on as a secondary skill set for this uh, data encryption and uh, role based access control and data masking these are also very helpful or added advantage to crack the azure data engineer guys okay so that's all guys mind i hope you clearly understand what are the main skills and topics you have to cover to crack the azure data engineer in 2025 if you still have any doubts please comment in the comment section or you can share your details if you and if you are looking for Azure Data Engineer interview preparation and mock interview, you can share your details to this mail ID and I will reach out to you and I will explain further details. Practice and keep applying for jobs. You definitely crack the interviews, skilled competitions as well. Okay. So if you really love this information, hit the like button and share it to your friends as well. I will come back with one more useful content video. Till then, thank you very much.